Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and Kang the Conqueror is out of gas in the Quantum Realm, according to Marvel head Kevin Feige, ahead of the kickstart to Marvel Phase 5 with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. The latest trailers have shown us Kang's vessel, which in this movie, he will attempt to get online. Like me trying to drive a rental car in a foreign country and realizing it's a stick shift, our man is struggling and unhappy. In addition to trailer footage, we now have gotten two interesting images of Kang with his ship. One earlier this week with Kang sitting in the pod with a man spread that says, Renslayer won't talk to me anymore. Anyway, so I'm not gonna make room for any woman. And then in recent days, an even more interesting shot of Kang with that device that I think fuels the vessel, perhaps a kind of quantum generator with a glowing tube flowing into it. The same device that we actually saw Kang handling in the first trailer. But check this out. Kang is wearing different, simpler clothes than in any other shot we've seen him in. Looks like a tunic with a thick Obi-Wan Kenobi belt. So this may be an earlier time in the quantum realm when Janet Van Dyne knew him. So what exactly is Kang's ship? How does it work? And what kind of fuel does it require? Well, I have an explanation that connects the dots between the war that is now raging through the quantum realm and even why Kang's variant he remains was so worried about activating Sylvie to come find him exactly when he did in Loki episode one. So Marvel Studios isn't really making any secrets about the ship's existence or Kang's interest in it. Kevin Feige told Empire, Kang's a very powerful person, but when we meet him, he's in a position where he needs to get that power back. He has a ship and a device that would allow him to go anywhere and any when if he can get it online. If only he had access to genius scientists with pim particles. So a ship and a device. I think that chair pod that he sits in is his time travel ship, or at least the cockpit of the ship. In fact, the full ship could be a city-sized battleship, and that's what those rings getting into place are. And the device is this generator that we see him with, but it is fueled by something. That glowing tube feeding into the generator could be an important clue. In previous videos, I pointed out how the shot of Scott and Hope when they arrive in the quantum realm, this craggy, broken field with vast columns of glowing energy. In other shots of the trailer, like when Janet Van Dyne walks through a more tropical jungle setting, what looks like the horizon in the background is actually a glowing golden pipeline. My theory was that those columns that Scott and Hope see are drills mining this energy from the quantum realm terrain and then piping it back somewhere. I think Kang's base for refining into a fuel source that he can use to reactivate his time ship to escape the quantum realm. And now with this new trailer and things that we've learned about Quantumania, the details seem to be supporting that. Katie O'Brien is playing freedom fighter Gentora, whom the official press release described like this. Gentora is the strong and respected leader of the freedom fighters, a group of displaced inhabitants in the quantum realm whose lives were turned upside down by Kang. She doesn't have time for Scott, Cassie and their problems and worse, their presence alone puts Gentora's crew in grave danger. I think Gentora is part of the ragtag group who approached Scott and Cassie in this location. I think the reason this land is so broken up is that Kang, as he's been building his army and mining this land for fuel, has ecologically destroyed this land once owned by these residents, turning them into an antagonistic militia. The reason Scott and Cassie are such game changers is they have access to pin particle technology that would make Kang's objective even easier. To shrink down further into a realm beyond the quantum realm, down into the nexus roots of existence with their own quantumly chaotic physics, to shrink and to snatch the original wellspring of this golden energy source, so that Kang can stop digging for it bit by bit and just keep the whole damn thing perpetually generating energy inside his ship's generator. Now, I've been re-watching Loki season one and another detail just came up that blew my mind. When we first met Sylvie, at the end of that first episode, the TVA has been chasing this Loki variant and she's been luring them into these anachronistic Nexus events in order to steal their reset charges. But when they go to 1858 Oklahoma, they find the device that caused the Nexus, a futuristic shovel brought back to 1858. If you look closely, it was created by Advanced Idea Mechanics so that's AIM, and what is it designed to dig for? Quantum ore. So what the f is quantum ore? We all just kind of overlooked that with all the other stuff Loki was throwing at us. I guess we considered it a joke about a future that truly does put the word quantum in front of everything. But hey, you know what time it is? Bam, it's geology time. Geology is a 16 time award winning personalized skincare company recognized in Hype Beast, Birdie, Men's Health, Esquire, and Ask Men grooming awards with over 6,000 five star reviews. And now they offer products for whatever you need. Just take a quick 30 second diagnostic quiz and geology figures out your routine for you. Geology creates simple and effective skincare and hair care routines customized just for you with ingredients that are proven to work no matter what you're trying to take care of. For hair care, use geology's co-wash. It's especially formulated cream cleanser that removes buildup and cleanses hair without the harsh ingredients of typical shampoo. Geology also has body washes that are free of harsh ingredients, smell great, and are refillable. For skincare, Geology can protect your skin from environmental stress with vitamin C plus E for Relic Serum to keep your skin looking young and healthy, and then a bit of dermatologist tested aluminum free deodorant. Right now, for a limited time, Geology is hooking our viewers up with an absolutely insane offer. If you use the code ROCKSTAR70, they will give you an additional 70% off 
their award-winning skincare trial set. We did the math and that's five products for just $15. On top of that, you can take an additional 30% bonus offer on one of their brand new skin, hair, and body products of your choice when you add that to your trial. To get started, just click the link in the description. But I think quantum ore might be a natural resource discovered in future years on Earth that powers advanced technology, whatever the future has to replace fossil fuels with. Like we know there's gotta be some major breakthrough in the future of the MCU when it comes to energy consumption. Like, remember, Loki Episode 2 established that, in He Remains Sacred Timeline, natural and ecological disasters start escalating on Earth both in frequency and intensity. Mobius brings up the extinction of the swallow that really screwed up the ecosystem. Category 8 hurricanes are destroying rocks on company towns. If things get that bad on Earth in just the next half century, how the hell could Earth society ever make it to the 31st century with technology good enough for Nathaniel Richards to do some dabbling into the multiverse? I mean, based on the MCU's current trajectory, we're going to be at Mad Max by year 2100. Now, there are a lot of reasons he remains is okay with the sacred timeline spiraling the status of earth into apocalyptic chaos like the guy obviously has a death wish but specifically i think he's okay with companies like roxon taking over our lives the way amazon currently is in our world because it's gonna be companies like roxon and aim who are gonna make these breakthroughs with things like quantum ore and mankind will finally finally be able to stop using fossil fuels quantum ore would be a tangible crystalline mineable resource on the surface realm fed by subatomic wellsprings down in the quantum realm so by trying to steal quantum Quantum or Sylvie might have actually been trying to cut off the TVA, which at the time she did not know was being run by a Kang, but to cut off the TVA from functioning properly, from keeping the lights on, the time doors opening up, the reset charges working, Miss Minutes fed, because you won't like her when she gets hungry. And as soon as Sylvie started digging in that earth, he who remains scripted it so that Loki L1130 would cause a nexus event and could activate a chain reaction of events that led to the finale of Loki and removed Sylvie from the path that she was on. So I think this quantum ore, this quantum energy is going to be the life blood for Kang as the Avengers try to stay a step ahead of him in their upcoming battles like Avengers Kang Dynasty since this fuel is probably cached in deposits throughout history and Kang would be the only one who knows about them that'll give him countless times and places to go recharge and respawn as the Avengers try to chase him throughout the time stream. So let me know your thoughts on this and a reminder to subscribe to our new channel The Deep Dive launching February 17th. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Boss, follow New Rockstars and subscribe to New Rockstars for more analysis of everything you love. Thanks for watching. Bye.